Wow, hard to believe we're in a bar. It feels like a restaurant, but which alcohol goes with this food? Iron Man saves the Earth. Batman saves Gotham City. And I save foreign tourists. Hello and welcome to the Soul Survival Guide. I'm Paul and I'm here to teach you the words and expressions that real Koreans use every day. If you can remember these words and expressions, you'll have an awesome traveling experience in Seoul. Happy holidays everybody! How is everybody doing? Here at the SSG, even though it's the festive season, we're still here working hard to give you tips on how to best travel in Seoul. Not just during the holidays, but during all of December, Koreans meet their co-workers, friends, and family in all sorts of gatherings, big and small. With all of these gatherings and events, it's really hard to dodge having a drink of alcohol. So today, let's learn how to enjoy Korean alcohol and what to do when drinking alcohol in Seoul. All right, these three alcohols are the most popular drinks in Korea. Different sojus also have different strengths in their alcohol percentage. For example, this one is the strongest. This one is a bit weaker, then all of these are among the weakest sojus. Next up is beer. Popular not just in Korea, but of course, all over the world. The next alcohol is a traditional rice-based alcohol made in Korea. For example, this is the basic makgeolli. Afterwards, they also have fruit-flavored versions of makgeolli. For example, this one is a tangerine-flavored one. This one is a chestnut-flavored one. And the last one we have here is a banana-flavored makgeolli. Now that we learned the basics of Korean alcohols, let's take a look at what side dishes go well with them. Let's check it out. See this menu? When in Korea, you have to order some side dishes with your alcohol. What should we order first? Um, in that case, I want some Korean pizza, pajeon. And also, oh, nice. This bar also has some fried chicken. Let's have some. Since we're in Korea, let's order something spicy. How about some spicy sea snail salad? It's spicy, but it tastes great. You should try it. Wow, hard to believe we're in a bar. It feels like a restaurant, but which alcohol goes with this food? Don't worry, I'm a pro when it comes to alcohol. So for this dish, Koreans love drinking soju. It goes super well with spicy sea snails and also chicken feet. Sweet and spicy food, pork belly, or even soups to calm your stomach are really popular here. As for fried chicken, beer is the best choice. Ever heard of the word chimek? It means chicken and makeju, which means fried chicken and beer. If you ever go to the Hangan River, it's a popular tour destination. You go there and then you order some chimek. A traditional food like pajeon calls for a traditional drink like makgeolli. They are best paired together. Let me show you. And also, there's a special way to drink these things together called somek, soju, and makeju together. So you combine them here, like this. Take your spoon, and then you, you could try it. Wow! So now you understand how to pair alcohol and food, right? You've learned about soju, beer, makgeolli, and even somek. Visitors also love to try out fermented fruit alcohols. Like wine, fruit alcohols are fermented drinks. In Korea, there's plum wine, raspberry wine, and omija wine that are fermented to create Korean-style alcohols. And finally, all over the world, there's the all-important cheers-like expressions. In Korea, Koreans love to say, konbae! So, konbae everybody! Give it a try next time you travel. Today is the last episode of the Soul Survival Guide for 2019. During our time together, we've learned so much about traveling in Seoul. For example, we learned about the transportation system, food, shopping, entertainment, and so much more. We truly hope here at the SSG that you have an awesome traveling experience in 2020 when you come to Seoul. If you enjoyed today's episode, please like and subscribe. And also, happy holidays and konbei everybody!